It was snowing this morning. And tomorrow, I'm gonna haul my boat out of the dry dock. So, yeah. So, I've decided to try this kind of a vlog thing. Vlog? How do you pronounce it? Where I do... It's not gonna be like daily videos. More like a weekly or something like that. But because I'm now starting my sailing season, tomorrow is the first um, first sailing, well not sailing because I'm not gonna put the sails on, but I'm gonna motor my boat here from this harbor where my uh, dry dock is to the new harbor which is a lot closer to my home. It's gonna be like six, seven nautical miles, so yeah. And uh, now there's gonna be a lot more little stuff that I'm gonna be working on, so I think it makes sense that it's it's better to do these kind of a videos where I do a lot of small things in one video compared to those that I've been doing this winter where it's like a project and then it's like different parts of that building the outboard, the heater and that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna try this one. Let's see how it goes. Uh, you're probably gonna hear the noise from outside. There's a truck over there, they are lifting one of those boats on this parking lot. Now hauling it into the water. Onto the water. Yeah. So, what I'm gonna do today? Well, I have to prepare my boat for the, uh, for the lift. Please tell me, what's the right word in English to, well, I know haul out the boat, it's gonna when you pick up the boat and put it in the dry dock, but what is called, what is the verb for picking up the boat and putting it back in the water from the dry dock? I tried to search it, but I couldn't find it, so I'm gonna just say, I'm gonna haul my boat into the well. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff lying around inside the boat and also on the cockpit there's uh, yeah. too much stuff so I need to put all this in the right order and fasten them somewhere in here so that the stuff doesn't fall out of the places and yeah and also I'm gonna yeah, make sure that everything is okay on the uh, the bottom of the boat. There's one hole. Well, it's not a hole, but where the uh, the speed wheel goes. Yeah, I have to put that on and make sure that everything is okay. And then I have to make sure that there's space for me to check up the bow where I painted the uh, thing over there. I have to check that easily once the boat is on the water when the truck is still there so if there's a leak it can lift me up and well, put it back in here but i hope that's not gonna happen and also easy access under the um, the cockpit because there's also stuff that might be leaking so, yeah. organizing stuff and then testing the motor and well yeah that's about it tomorrow i'm gonna take the tarps off just before the truck comes because it's gonna be raining I think tonight and tomorrow might rain snow again like this morning so yeah. okay about one hour later inside the cabin starting to starting to look okay a lot cleaner not that much stuff lying around and keys and wrenches and that kind of stuff they were all, all over the place so now it's time to go under the cockpit so there's a hole where this one goes yes, now I've got the focus 
So I'm gonna clean this up. This wheel over there. Stop spinning at some point of last summer, but then it started again, so yeah. And also I'm gonna put the, some stuff under there. So, yeah. And also I need to connect my 12 volt battery, which is over here. That's the main fuse and it's over here, so I'm gonna connect that, so I might use the uh, autopilot tomorrow when I'm ordering. I'm not gonna put the radio on or anything like that, but I got the power for the pilz pump. Things are going well. I got the um, the speed thing, spinning wheel over there. It's tight. It should be snug. I'm not leaking water tomorrow, hopefully. I put the uh, 12 volt battery on, and I checked the voltage, and it was 12.6. Uh, I measured. Uh, when was it? beginning of December, so almost about 5 months ago, and it was 12.8. I think pretty good. Uh, I took also uh, measurement voltage from the uh, different batteries under the seats over there, but uh, because I've been using them when I've been testing the, the motor thing and also using the those two big batteries under there, for the lights and that, so yeah. I'm not sure how the voltage was over there, but I put the uh, charger over there. It's now figuring out the voltage. That's why it's not yet charging. But that's for the 12 volt, and this guy over here is uh, charging the uh, 24 volt batteries. Yep. So I'm gonna leave those charge the batteries overnight even though it doesn't take them long but well I'm gonna make sure that the batteries are as full as possible for tomorrow because it's gonna be uh, exciting and uh, a little bit scary trip from here to my home harbor because the other uh, the route that I'm taking is new I'm never gone I'm gonna go under a bridge which is uh, like a swivel sideways turning bridge and so yeah that's the first time I'm doing that here in Finland and also the rest of the, the route is also new so yeah so the thing why this is exciting and a little bit scary is that the weather is should be pretty rough around 10 uh, meters per second the wind and it's gonna be against me when I'm going it's gonna blow from the west and I'm mainly going to west so yeah and yeah well in nuts it's gonna be like 20 nuts but the uh, yeah the peaks can be even higher yeah and I'm not sure how the waves are gonna be because I have no time to put any sails on I have to motor all the way there it's not that yeah long it should take about a couple hours but yeah because the road is new and the weather is not that nice it's also gonna be cold and it might be raining so yeah oh now it got the uh, the walls is right and it already got it to 14 so yeah the battery was as full as it could be so there's no charge going over there I don't think let's see Here's the, uh, da, da, da. there's the display, yeah, it's gonna be 99, 99% full. Oh, okay, so, yeah, I think I'm gonna continue tomorrow, so, bye-bye.